Evening all, how's it going? Um, I have to cover Shemima Bagoom, Donna. Shit cunt Bagoom. It's unfucking believable, isn't it? You couldn't make this shit up. Honestly, if we were going to do a public poll and ask the general public, just do a poll of like 10,000 people and ask them, do you think Shemima Bagoom should be re- returned to the UK? What, what do we think, reasonably, people would say in response to it? Well, there's some straws in the wind, because Sky News did one back in the day when she fucking got nicked and had her citizenship revoked. And Sky News is a fucking lefty broadcaster, so we're assuming they did their absolute best to put a finger on the scales, aren't we? And even they found that 8 out of 10 people thought it was right to boot her out of the UK for good. What, What do you have to do? What do you have to do to get fucking permanently removed from this country? That country, should I say? For being a monumental thunder cunt of epic proportions. Like, I I really, I mean, I know I swear and insult people for comedy effect quite a lot, but, you know, when you've talked about how when you saw your first severed head, it didn't faze you. (laughs) When you have been completely and utterly 100% unrepentant, unrepentant about a group that hacks people's fucking heads off, sets babies on fire, like literally does the most cruel medieval shit you can possibly imagine. That's not hyperbole on my part. Again, I'm prone to hyperbole on occasion when I'm trying to be funny, but that really is what they did. Some of the fucking shit that ISIS got up to, beggars belief, it is worse than anything any terrorist group from recent decades have got anywhere near. The the IRA used to murder people, occasionally torture people. It didn't used to chop so many fucking heads off with potato peelers that they've got their own bastard Wikipedia entry. Christ almighty. They beheaded massive groups of Ethiopian Christians on the beach. Just lined them all up and sawn the heads off. Put a Jordanian pilot in a cage and casually set him on fire doused him in petrol and burnt the poor cunt to death in front of the world. You know I can go on. Dashing babies' heads against fucking brick walls. Mass gang rape. Human slavery. Butchery of the most savage kind. Like, un-fucking-believable. Worse than anything the fucking... Worse than anything the fucking Nazis got up to in the Second World War. Like, literally, the most depraved act of mass murder seen in the last fucking century. You've got to go back to, like, medieval shit to even come close to it, haven't you? There's another one of the many gay men they just fucking tied up and threw off a building. Like, it really is staggering. Staggering. And this honking sack of rats is who we're arguing about. Shemima Bagoom. And best of all, fucking best of all, Steve Bell from The Guardian, obviously The Guardian, he's drew a cartoon of it. Proud to be. Like, he's obviously, we know who his sympathies fucking lie with. What a fucking arsehole. Unbelievable. Best of all, look at this story. Up to 150 jihadis could attempt to come to the UK after ISIL bride Shemima Bagoom's court victory. The court reveals unprecedented ruling that Shemima Bagoom should be allowed into the UK could open the door to other jihadis. (laughs) Fucking champion. I love how she's got a little British flag behind her as well. Christ almighty, like everything about it's staged. She's got a nice little wet boat there for a cup of tea and a nice little British flag. Unfucking believable I'm sorry, you don't get to promote this flinging innocent men off rooftops and setting people on fire and then accept me, expect me to swallow this bullshit. Fucking unbelievable. I, I don't know, I don't know how people stay calm. I don't know how centre-left people don't get apoplectic with fucking rage. I mean, they're supposed to be for the gay community, aren't they? Don't they see a photograph of a gay man being flung off a building by her fucking oppos and think, hmm, maybe I'm on the wrong side of this? You keep going on about being on the wrong side of history. Well, what's that if not the wrong side of fucking history? Christ almighty. Same with this type of thing. Remember when the Taliban attacked a fucking maternity ward? These jihadi Islamist fucking lunatics have got absolutely no morals at all. Like, at all. I can pick the most bonkers, indoctrinated Western soldier, you know, full-blown, 100% ideologically aligned with our aims, fuck the jihadis, kill them all marine types, and they would balk at the stuff these people get up to. 
women, kids, babies, flames, decapitation, torture, anything. Drowning them in a pool. That was another good one. I don't know if you guys seen that. I watch them all because it makes me nice and angry. Whenever the whenever I'm down to the kindling uh, and I think you need to stoke my rage again, I just watch some fucking ISIS videos. Get you nice and fucking raged for the rest of the week. Uh, they drowned them all, put them in a cage, suspended them over a pool, drop them in, and just slowly watch them all drown. Locked in a cage. Like, they're, they're, they're fucking... And then this fat twat does these pro Shamima cartoons. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. It says, um, the warning follows an unprecedented court of appeal judgment yesterday that Burgoom, 20, should be allowed to return to the UK to fight the government's decision to revoke her British citizenship for joining ISIL. The three judges of our corrupt, politically partisan, fucking bullshit Supreme Court ruled that the jihadi bride could not have a fair and effective appeal unless she was present in purpose, in person to give proper instructions or provide evidence. Uh, bullshit. Fucking bullshit. The Queen's been doing everything via Zoom, right? It's been, courts have been doing it. Every fucker's been doing it. You don't need the horrible, fat, fucking jihadi mad bitch to be sitting in front of you. You can put her on fucking Zoom. You can have her with a camera. You can do the lot remotely. If a fucking 98-year-old fucking geriatric woman can fucking work it out, I'm sure the bastard's highest court in the land can. Christ almighty. Proper instructions. Well, Her Majesty's got, got a grip of it, so you fucking cunts can too. Unbelievable. Said this outweighs any risk to national security. Bollocks. Addressed and managed. You mean like the last 20 jihadis that have murdered everyone, even though we've been watching them, apparently, 24-7? Every one of them is on the watch list. Every single one of them. Most recent one. Reading stabbing. Motherfucker. Killed a loads of innocent men. Of course it was known to MI5. Every single time they're known to MI5. Manchester bombing. Known to MI5. London Bridge. Known to MI5. Every single time. So don't give me that fucking bullshit. Any risks can be addressed and managed. Bullshit, Mr. Handman. The Home Office said it's going to appeal with a very disappointing ruling. Fucking right they are. A white also said any returning jihadis is a headache. Anybody who went out there to join ISIL is problematic. We would have concerns about anybody who's being in her situation. Even if you didn't think she was dangerous, you would have to switch resources to put her under surveillance. Exactly. Sajid Javid, who was Home Secretary and revoked her citizenship, said he was deeply concerned. He can do it because he's called Sajid fucking Javid. If he was called Dave Smith, we'd be fucked. So thank heaven for small mercies, eh? First and most critically, allowing her and other terrorists back into the UK would create a national security risk that cannot be mitigated. Yes. Second, the judgment and precedent set could bind the hands of the government. Yes. And third, a consequence of this individual walk in the streets would be that it serves as a lightning rod for both Islamists and far-right terrorists. Fucking no shit, Sherlock. I'm not a far-right terrorist. I'm not even far-right. But this is boiling my fucking piss in the bag. Like, if you're a right-wing if you're a right-wing nut and you're that close to tipping over the edge and then driving a school bus through a fucking crowd outside a mosque, I, I dare say this is the one type of thing that may possibly push you over the edge. Fuck me. And this is the best bit. The deeply troubling implication of this judgment is that up to 150 terrorists are now legally entitled to enter the UK in order to appeal the decision in their case. <sighs> You have to laugh, don't you? Clown world. You have to fucking laugh. <laughs> it's thought the Court of Appeal has never made an order before in relation to suspects barred from the UK and stripped of citizenship. Fuck them all. Bagoon, who married a Dutch-born ISIL fighter and is currently living in a refugee camp, has previously said she had no regrets over her time with ISIL and sparked outrage by claiming the Manchester terror attack was justified. Uh, just if any Americans are watching and they don't know what that was, that was when an Islamist suicide bomber blew up a bunch of little fucking girls watching an Ariana Grande fucking concert. I shit you not, ladies and gentlemen. Justified. Cheers, Shemima, you fucking miserable, evil, poison dwarf. Fucking, I don't know what to say about that. Fucking oxygen thief. I don't know what else to say. The implications for her coming home are colossal. 
not just for what she and her fucking chums and immediate friends are going to get up to, but the massive implications for every single murdering, fucking flamethrower wielding, chop your head off with a fucking potato peeler, evil, evil cunts that were in that fucking organisation with her. And you know what the really, really irritating thing about this is? I keep making the point about how justice isn't blind anymore. How Lady Justice doesn't wear a blindfold in England. She fucking... She reads The Guardian and she fucking watches you with a pair of binoculars. And if you're a fucking white dude, the exact opposite of what the social justice warriors say is true. The inverse is true. If you happen to have a bit of a tan, they treat you with kid gloves. Because do you remember this? This poor cunt sent his son 150 quid because he's ideologically opposed to the fucking murder of the Kurds. He went over there to fight with the Kurds, who nobody's accused of being savage barbarous cunts who butcher women and kids for no reason and uh that poor bastard got nicked for sending his son daniel some money said he fought with kurdish forces in northern syria and was arrested on suspicion of financing terrorism because his son daniel traveled to syria to fight with the people's protection unit also known as the ypg and if you don't know the ypg are not a bunch of fucking evil horrible cunts they're the guys who fought with the americans against the Islamic State. So, fucking answer me that one. I dare say Paul Newey and his son Daniel Newey are um, white British boys, and that's why they get arrested and treated like fucking cunts for helping to fight against ISIS. And this fucking £150 waste of fucking skin is getting treated with fucking kid gloves. You can't make it up, can you? Fights for the mass murderers. Oh, give her legal aid. Help her out. She can come back. Send your son money to help fight against the mass murderers. You're fucking nicked, you cunt. Like he's, like he's been sending memes as well, the horrible fucking bastard. You can't make it up. It's fucking ridiculous. Paul knew we getting arrested. And this f- fucking... This fucking oxygen thief getting legal aid. It just... It grips my shit in, in ways I can't even put into fucking words easily. Well, I can use some words. Shit, cunt, fuck, twat, bastard, minge. Swear words, basically. Fucking, I, I can't believe it. it uh, uh, I'm going to have to call it there before one of the veins in my neck explodes and my wife finds my cadaver slumped over the keyboard. Um, it's fucking, it's scandalous. Scandalous. Shit, there are no good arguments you can make in this day and age, when we've got a fucking geriatric queen using fucking Zoom, and it's fu- it, there's no good arguments at all you can make to let that piece of human fucking shit back in this country. None. And if you can think of one, you can think of a real one, not some oily human rights lawyer on Twitter reason, about yeah, the rule of law, man, the fucking rule of law. There is no rule of law. Look at this cunt, David here. What is he? Oh, look, he's a human rights lawyer. Fucking former Leeds United chairman. He's obviously, look, he's a, he's a wadded, overly educated human rights fucking lawyer. Where does he get all his money from? By playing the fucking system and defending human fucking scum. And he's there saying, oh, it won't be popular, but we must follow the rule of law. The rule of law. Can't go down the slippery slope. There is no fucking rule of law. I said, what, our demonstrably corrupt, overly partisan, biased car to treat white people differently from brown people? There is no no fucking rule of law. And this fucking scumbag, if there was any fucking justice at all, he'd get fucking deported alongside Shemima. Just throw both the cunts out the country. Fucking boils my piss. Horrible cunt. If seriously, if you'll defend mass murderers and pedos and rapists just because it lines your pockets, are you not a piece of shit? Like this guy. I think I hate him more than her. At least she was just indoctrinated by professionals to fucking do it for a living. He's just a shameless, self-promoting fucking shitbag lawyer. Oh, God. Fucking David. 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 Unbelievable. That's me for the day. I've had enough of this fucking shit. You know, I used to think myself quite tolerant on crime and punishment. I did. I think if there's any, like, cause and effect, you know, burglary or addiction and all that sort of thing, I've always leaned left on that type of thing. I think there should always be 
a pathway to redemption for most crimes and an opportunity to redeem yourself, but not for fucking murdering babies and throwing gays off roofs. I mean, they're just... The, the, their litany of crimes is staggering, which is why I've unleashed my litany of fury in response. Fuck Shemima Bagoon. And fuck the Guardian reading twats. And most assuredly, fuck the human rights lawyers that stomp all over human rights, i.e. the rights of the victims of animals, to line their own fucking pockets. Unbastard believable. I hope he at least has the good grace to not be able to sleep at night. A fucking asshole.